Once you or someone else in your company makes the choice about which version of Peachtree and you also have it installed, then it's kind of time to take a test drive, if you will. Think about buying a car. You walk onto the lot, you say, yep, I think I like the features of that. But until you actually take it for a test drive, you're not quite sure how it's going to feel or how it's going to behave for you. So that's what we'll do now. Take a quick test drive of Peachtree. The first step, of course, is getting in and starting the ignition, or in this case, launching the software. There are many different ways that you can do this. I'm simply going to double click the peach tree icon that's on my desktop. At this point, we're greeted with the welcome screen, and you can see that we have the options to do a couple of different things. We can open an existing company, which is known as a company file, or we can create a new company, which we'll do in the next lesson, or down at the bottom, we can explore a sample company. Since this is like our test drive and it may or may not be driving the actual car we end up buying, a sample company is going to be just fine. So I'm going to give this link a little click and wait for the sample company file to open. After the database is accessed and the interface opens up, you get to see a whole bunch of stuff and we don't want that to be completely overwhelming. So let's kind of take it from the top. First of all, on the left hand side, we see what's called the navigation pane. It has different tabs on it, customers and sales, vendors and purchases and so forth. If you are using the complete version or higher, you may see an additional tab right at the top that says business status center. That's not available in the pro version. It's kind of a key to knowing the state of your business and a summary, if you will. It's not available in the pro version, so we're not seeing it. For us, we have the navigation bar with seven tabs, or sometimes people call them pages. These are actually called centers, and you can click a center to see anything you want to see and kind of a summary about that. So for example, if we are on customers and sales, which we currently are, we can look over to the right and we can see different types of things that we would do for customers. We would create customers, we would create jobs for customers, we might work with sales taxes, we can work with quotes, we can put those into sales orders, which turns into an invoice. Maybe we're going to be assessing finance charges and eventually, hopefully, we're going to receive money and deposit that into our bank account. The beauty of this particular interface is it does show you kind of a workflow, the way that things might happen. Now, it's not that you have to use all of these steps in your particular business processes, but if you're unfamiliar with what to expect, it does kind of give you a very visual workflow type of view that you can see what's going to happen. You'll see these with each of the different centers that we have available. In addition, you can see on the right hand side that we see a smaller version of what's known as our customer list. We also have some recently used customer reports near the bottom right and a nice graph that shows us our aged receivables, money that we are still due. So as you can see from this point, we have access to working with virtually everything about our customers as well as getting some snapshots of different statuses from within our company. If I move back over to the navigation bar on the right, we'll see that that's the same for vendors and purchases inventory and services, employees and payroll, banking, and even the company as a whole. The company, of course, is very interesting because it not only has a flow chart for things like what you do with a customer, but it also has things like settings, working with the chart of accounts, how to maintain your data, doing backups, and even revenue year to date, total revenue, cost of sales, really some good summary information that can get you a picture very quickly. Just below these different tabs, you see a section called shortcuts. Shortcuts are customizable and they are here, for example, for things that you use very often, sales invoice or receiving money for a customer. These are really completely customizable. If you want to create your own, you can click the customize link, click the add shortcut button, choose a category that you're interested in. Let's say, for example, that we want to go to banking and we want to work directly with an account register. That is now added to our shortcut list and we can rearrange it. For example, I could move it up in the list to come right after my sales invoices. I can also rename it and I can completely delete it. These particular shortcuts will show up regardless of which center you have selected. So they're kind of a static area on the left side of the screen to give you quick access from anywhere within the file. I'm going to go ahead and say OK to get out of this. And we can see that we now have a link for account register right in our shortcuts pane.
All right, let's go back up to the top of the navigation bar and let's do customers and sales just to kind of get back to a starting point. And let's talk a little bit more about the rest of the interface. At the very top of the screen, you see what's known as the selection bar and it currently says customer and sales. And then below that, we have what's kind of a context sensitive toolbar, meaning whichever center you're in, there might be different buttons. It also shows us some good information. For example, right now, our system date is set to March 15th, 2009, and the current accounting period that we have open is period 3, which is March 1st of 2009 through March 31st, 2009. It also says this is the default page, meaning that customers and sales is the center that opens when you launch Peachtree. We can change that. If you spend more time or you're more interested in looking at inventory and services, maybe we'll go over to the right hand side. Select that tab just to make sure it is the one that we want. Right click on it and choose make this the default page. Now you can see this is the default page on the right side of that bar and anytime you open Peachtree it will automatically open to this particular screen. That makes it very nice if you don't always want to work with customers and sales. It's kind of like when your inbox is the default folder that opens up with your email client. Some people would rather see a task list or a calendar. So everything is customizable to work the way that you want it to. Now that you're comfortable with the interface, I want to take a little bit of time to look at a list. All of these things, customers and sales and vendors and deposits, they really go back to something called a list. And there is a menu for this in the top left side of the screen. If I select from the list menu, I can see again the different categories, customers and sales, vendors and purchases, employees and payroll and so forth. And I can go ahead and I can open up a variety of options from here. So under customers and sales, I can say, show me my customer list. The list opens up in its own window that can be maximized and minimized and moved around, but basically all lists are the same as far as how they're configured, even though they hold very different pieces of information. First of all, we can close, we can find new things, we can open, we can print out the entire list, we can even work with settings. And if we're working with multiple people who may be updating, in this case our customers, we can also refresh the list, kind of like refreshing your web page. On the left side of the list, we also see some very common tasks. In this case, we can view sales invoices for a customer, sales orders, quotes, payments, all of the jobs for a customer, and so forth. So once again, a lot of information that is easily accessible right from this window. But let's talk a little bit about the list itself. As I said, a list is really the basis for most things that happen in accounting software. And so we want to be very comfortable with them. Remember that this is all coming from a database. So currently we have a bunch of different customers and maybe I need to find a particular one. Each list has a search category and we can go ahead and use that to find things quickly instead of scrolling up and down in the list. If I click in search for and enter the name of my customer, which is Trent, and then choose the appropriate field, which happens to be the customer ID, but from this drop down, you'll see that you can choose any one of the particular fields that are in this list. Then I can click on search. And regardless of whether I have 10 customers or 5,000 customers, it now makes it easy to find the one that I'm looking for. With this selected, then I could print, open, and do all the different types of things that I need to do with the customer. If I want to clear the search, I simply click the clear search button. In addition to searching, you also have the option to sort your lists. If I wanted to sort by customer name instead of by customer ID, I can simply click on that field at the top of the list. So I'll click on customer name. You'll see that it gets a little arrow. And if you click again, you'll see that the arrow flips upside down. So when you sort, you either sort ascending or descending. And it's simply a matter of clicking an additional time to choose which way you want it to be sorted. To put it back to the default, which is usually going to be the ID field, which is the first field in the list, I can simply click back there. We'll actually do a lot more work with customers and how we add and enter and edit those a little bit later. But this is the basics of how you work with a list. When I'm finished with the list, I can simply use its close button and it will take me back to the center. Hopefully now you're a little bit more comfortable with what the Peachtree interface is going to look like. We have centers. From centers, we can choose activities or we can see summaries. And we also can work with lists in a variety of ways within the Peachtree software.